the video presents Astonishing Adventures in Atomic Annihilation. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap 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 crap. Pew 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 pew. Oh. Oh. Oh hey Wasteland Explorers. How are you? Would you like to hear a story? Once upon a time before the world fell to ruin. There was a club where all manner of movers and shakers were welcome. The Boylston Club. Provided that they were former and current male presidents, vice presidents, senators, and Supreme Court justices of America. The Boylston Club. Along with governors, lieutenant governors of Massachusetts, the Boyle. Legitimate male heirs of the above individuals. Finally, other high society gentlemen may join if nominated by members and are willing to pay $500,000 annually. The building is located here on the map. Some of you may have come across this building and disregarded it because there is no reason for you to come here. I know I ignored it. Step inside the big red door and you're greeted with what was Probably a beautiful hallway, complete with a podium for the doorman, chandeliers, candelabras, and carmine leather couches! Oh, <clears throat> uh, and an elevator. Take it up, and you'll enter a room much like the hallway before, only with more boneheads. Which is like any place you go in this game. Except, if you go behind the bar and hack the computer, you learn about the elite few the club was intended for, and the events they host, such as cigar tasting, fancy dinners, and possibly illegally imported wine tasting from Asia, and special events like this, uh, memoriam gala. There's also a holotape that, well, let's have a listen. It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink, allow me to offer a final toast. To the world that was, mankind shall never see its light again. That... That, wait, hang on, added 1024, that's a day after the world ended. And judging by the speech we just heard, and the poison wine lying about the place, that means after the bomb fell, at least 14 people trekked across the newly irradiated wasteland only to come to this place to commit mass suicide. Why would they do that? I have a couple guesses. One is that maybe they felt guilty over their failures as leader at the end of everything. Nah, it's probably because now that it's all over but the crying, everyone is now equal. Which means their precious social standing is rendered meaningless in the wasteland. And without that power, they have no other reason to live. So, what do you think about all this? Comment your answers, and if you want more of this content, Press the subscribe button. Do it. Now. Go. Okay, bye now.